up Ravantle? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm starting off this vlog. It's the 1st of May. It's a new month and Gay Workers Day. We are here at Ellis Park at the net the Telcom um, netball tournament. Coming to see a few of our local netball teams. So excited. So please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and join this microcosmic family. Cheers guys, I'll see you inside. We need to go buy tickets and we at least want to catch the 12 o'clock game. It's 12.36 right now and we're going to be watching about four different games. So we'll check you guys inside. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Guys, you know what? We are a netball family. In case you say it, netball family. Can I just show you guys Cheyenne's outfit? So, by the shipping. Check her makeup. Check her makeup. Cheyenne's makeup. And the outfits. Let's go. Ah, we're here. We're here. Come, let's go get this. Sitting up there. Yeah, we're not going to. Here, here, here. Or there. Um, and we are here. Who's playing now? Do we even know? Hey, girls. Shaen, say hi. Hey guys, um, we are back from that weight um, training session. So I'm going to do um, Sunday lunch, guys. It's a Sunday lunch. It's a Sunday lunch. So I got some red sweet chicken from Woody's. Go dreaming after we left. Um, I got cabbage. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Guys, like, it's a Sunday lunch without cabbage. What is what is Sunday lunch without cabbage? And then what else is in here? Bananas for the week. Um, sweet potatoes, not sweet potatoes, sweet corn, guys. The yeah, it's a sweet corn as well. Uh, I got some chunky strawberry jam. Guys, I am Kekhalezi, just ch um, strawberry, chunky strawberry jam with these scones and cream. Oh, yummy. Got some green tea. Um, I love that Willies have like a really big green tea, like there's a hundred tea bags in there. And then I want to make tomato gravy because, yeah, like when you know, you know, tomato gravy is the truth. Highly Sunday lunch. And then I got some the parboiled rice, the apple woolies. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna, but I'm planning on making cabbage, sweet potatoes, sweet corn, 
the carrots, mayonnaise and uh, cool beans. <laughs> Don't judge. Like guys, if you want to go that was always salad, yeah. Eling tengo Sunday lunch. And then yeah, that's it with the rotisserie chicken. So look, I'm not really gonna cook with you. It's nothing different. It's nothing, you know, fancy pansy. But I'll just do some B-rolls here and there. All right, but Babante, let us cook. <laughs>
Hey guys, just thought to pop in here. It's so hot. Quite cheap, so how up your Sunday lunch. And I just wanted to show you guys this cool um, t shirt that I got today at church. We've got a woman's ministry called Woven. And these t shirts just arrived today. Check at the back. Such a cool scripture. But yeah, guys, I'm almost done. Hwap air. Get with a gravy, no. And then after with a gravy, yeah. Sunday lunch will be done. I'll just obviously be roll plating up, but I want to formally close off this vlog for Humpienu. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking um, my vlogs, commenting, and most of all, I appreciate the subscriptions. I believe we're sitting on 272 sabis, and I am putting it out there um, that we are on the road to not even 300, not even 400, but 500. Um, yeah, giving it maybe two, three months, I'm gonna push and we'll see, hey? Um, I believe Jorge consistency and good content is normally highly appreciated and recognized through subscriptions. So do please subscribe, subscribe. I really appreciate it, but and help grow this microcosmic um, but we're going to family. All right, guys, I will see you. Um, yeah, I'll see you sometime during the week and have a blessed Sunday. Bye. <laughs>
also have an app breakfast. So. Ah, yeah, no. Okay. I know the... for that 5G. Okay, thank you so much. Does any of this have some kind of vegetables? Are the eggs Benedict does? Spinach. 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 Okay, so maybe I'll just do the full monty. Full monty? How yeah. do you like your eggs? Uh, medium. Medium. Yes. Me, I want a big breakfast. What is happening here? I think the full monty is a. Where is the full monty? Where is the full monty? This one. This one. No beans. Four Monty's here. It also has beans. I will take the four Monty as well. Yeah. And how would you like eggs? Um, Which means it all is one. Oh. Because you're not monetized, it does not matter. But what it won't stop you from being monetized. No. It won't stop you from being monetized. Thank you. It, this is what it means. Thank you. You won't get money from this video. Okay. <laughs> it basically means you won't get money from that video. Uh, when you've got other people's content in it, uh, then it means you can just click not monetizing. Yeah. Then you're not getting any money. Oh, okay. But if it is a video of music, for example, okay. for Beyonce, right? Yes. It yeah. will give you a yellow monetize. If you still opted for monetizing, yes. you will still have a yellow monetize. Yeah. But that yellow means okay. some of this money is going to Beyonce, yeah. some of this money is coming to you. Oh. So you are still monetized. So you share the money. Are you kidding me? Yes. Because I've gone back and I've edited things. No, don't worry music. about monetization if you're not monetized. So even if it's written copyright, copyright, don't copyright. Don't now you, now you're supposed to give me like a YouTube masterclass. <laughs> no, no, no. But you, you won't know if I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, fine. No, I, I don't really, care about I really, time. I really want to be monetized. I really love being a content creator. Okay. Not the fine. influencing part of it, no. That's too much pressure for me. Okay. I feel so like it means it takes away the I will, I will check, I will check your YouTube studio. Yes, and see oh, my yes, analytics. And, then, and see, are you analytics? Yes. And then help you through where you can get more oh. information on how you can research your topics. Yes. How you can so like and see okay. where my interest is. Where yes. people are getting yeah. more interest. A full master class. <laughs> <laughs> a full master class. You are like you'll just give me a full master class. It's gonna be excellent. Okay, let's now get into the car. I've got some questions here that I just want you to that that have been giving me sleepless nights. I think the first one we did cover it in terms of saying. Let me just open here. In terms of saying. Okay. Where where would I even start? We are, we've launched. Not that I even want to do a launch initially, hey Eve. I want to do like how you've known. Mm -hmm. Then maybe do a launch. What do you think? Would you would you do a launch right at the beginning? No. Yeah. I wouldn't advise to do a launch at the beginning because now you don't know that this party there is. Yes. Um, and then I am talking about people who are working with me. Whether they own their own business or they are in middle management, yes. so that they can choose to work from home. Yeah. So what am I going to be offering? In? Are you climbing on? Okay. What's your specialty? People come to you. Come to you. I think for me, my biggest thing is like okay. that's all we do. We don't really want it to be inclusive with some sort of educational aspect of it. Even be defined in yeah. more detail. Yeah. Niche it. Niche it. Specializing. Yeah. For example, when we knew to tell you, I wanted to. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are good. It is wow, it's been a minute. Um, because I feel like I have oh, first of all, thank you for everybody that has subscribed to my channel thus far, and thank you for people that have commented, liked, and just share my content. I really appreciate it. 
but um, yeah it's been a minute since I kind of like picked up the cam because I have so much content to still edit um, and so much scheduled um, vlogs going up that I kind of like want to get through all of that before I start a new um, vlog but I just guess what like like I can't go through a week or even a few days without just you know popping in and saying hi and just letting you know how I am and finding out how you guys are so literally there's like nothing planned or even special it's the third of May I just thought I should open this vlog and our vlog as as and when um this morning i had such a cool meeting i had a meeting with a, a prospective business partner i actually um with this new business that i'm starting and i've been kind of like uh what what can you say not really interviewing different business partners but kind of like speaking to different mentors per se what sound was that something different mentors um slash business partners that i want to go into this business with like it's it's totally um new it's completely like uncharted waters for me i've never done i've never been in this industry but i'm very passionate about it and i'm very knowledgeable about it in in a sense of from my own personal experience but my personal experience alone is not enough sorry there's just a weird sound i think it's coming from the other car behind me my personal experience alone is not enough to actually take the business to the next level and that's why i thought i should just come in and just chat to you guys about exactly that you know um starting off businesses that you know nothing about but are passionate about are, are passionate in it and you see the gap in the industry or you see the the gap in that specific niche and even in the locality of where you're gonna situate the business in itself you just see that there's a, a huge need and hence this business move that I'm doing a huge need for a business of that type however there's a lot of skills about that particular business and industry that I lack and this is when this um, business partner and friend when I approached her she was so keen and so willing she's she actually said to me she's been wanting to do this with me for the longest but I've kind of like been yeah putting it all on off on the back burner and she's really happy that I want to do this so um, now it's just about us fine-tuning and putting down to paper what kind of partnership we really want to have um, obviously I'm gonna be the major share majority shareholder or the, the actual owner um, I think she'll either come in as a silent partner guys I've had to do so much research with this business it's literally taking me out of my comfort zone with a lot of things and um, I'm really enjoying it at the same time it's very very um, scary and like I just really what I don't know I need to hire if that makes sense so that's why I'm bringing on board um, this business partner of mine and this is the meeting we had today it was such a fruitful meeting it was so fulfilling and yeah I just wanted to come in and yeah chat to you guys about that kind of stuff and just comment in the comment section if you've started a business or want to start a business in completely uncharted terrains and you feel like you'd be great at it and you just don't know where you would start per se and yeah let's let's share our inputs and insights but that's what i wanted to chat to you guys about but i'll see you guys um in and out of this vlog <laughs> ciao bye Mwah.
Welcome back to yet another vlog for this week, another day. Um, it is a Thursday and I've just picked up pumpkin from school. Today was quite a productive day. Um, I started off early. I had a meeting with my financial advisor and yeah, you know, those are things we neglect. I wanted us to, oh, by the way, sorry. I haven't even said, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I welcome you. Welcome to this uh, beautiful family. Um, that consists of beautiful people. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting and subscribing, especially to this channel. Thank you for believing in me. Even though it seems like at times ish you know what you gotta keep the faith and I fully believe in the process of being consistent and putting out some a grade content for you guys so today in the morning like I was saying I went to see my financial advisor it's something I do once a year and just especially when you're self-employed things go up and down you know there's months where um, you are unable to maybe pay off that or, or, or pay your life cover or your um, RA or your pension fund whatever it is but those are portfolios and policies you must have in place so yeah we discussed quite a myriad of things and it was a very productive meeting I'm actually switching to a new financial advisor and I really have good vibes about um, this new one I just needed somebody more hands-on and somebody who puts me top of mind somebody who lets me know what are the new um, products when it comes to fine um, you know um, investment products investment policies that kind of stuff and then I went to Woolies the girls needed Makusha however there was a short there's a shortage hey, of Navy um, winter stockings for the girls um, I think the schools around here have like literally sold out and I went past Zara got something from Zara and I got something from Diskim as well it was literally an impromptu sort of like quickly in and out of the shopping mall and um, yeah so I will show you everything that I got yeah, up today and then yesterday I actually forgot to open the vlog yesterday I went to the Adidas outlet store there's a new Adidas outlet store um, in Edenvale and I'll show you guys what I got I'm so 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 excited to show you guys what I got from there as well quite a few pieces guys I love at leisure wear like I really really love um, at leisure because it's it's just Sorry, I was just in a tunnel. So I was saying I really love at leisure wear because it's just so effortless. And with me being obviously a mom and w going to gym and like my industry isn't formal, formal, except for when I have to show um, some clients properties, I'll then maybe dress up a bit. But other than that, it's not highly formal. And yeah, so I really need to be in comfortable clothes throughout the day. So that's a few items. I did obviously get some gym wear as well. Um, but yeah, so that's it. And I just wanted to come on here and thank you guys. It really motivates me. Thank you for those that have believed in subscribing to such a small channel. Um, but for me, it's testament of you guys noticing what I'm doing and noticing the effort that I'm putting in. And I really appreciate it. Guys, it is so hot in this car because I have the aircon off because I don't want to make a noise while doing this intro so yeah I'm getting home now and I'm starving I'm gonna make some lunch actually I'm gonna eat my dinner from last night I normally don't eat dinner so what I do is I have dinner for my lunch or dinner for my late breakfast because I ins I do intermittent fasting so I fast for 16 hours and eat for 8 so I normally break my fast at 12 o'clock so yeah that's when I will have my dinner from the previous evening but today was hectic I started on the road I literally have a bit of a hunger headache now and um, yeah and the meeting that I had with my financial advisor guys it's at this beautiful spot in Bedford View guys it's called SAS SAS Cafe SAS 
I couldn't obviously vlog because I'm there for business guys like it, it would be really weird vlogging at at a meeting with your financial advisor but I'm definitely going back there I'm definitely going to like uh, become a regular it's really stunning it's where the new paddle boarding place is that I've been meaning to go but anyway, okay guys, I digress. I'll see you guys at home when I get home and um, do a little mini haul of the stuff I got today. Alrighty, ciao, bye. Um, it's 21.57 on a Tuesday and it's the 7th of May so I want to share with you guys what happened tonight at tonight's game guys hey you know what why I love why I love netball or sports for that fact for that matter of fact you know sports can teach you a lot Sports can teach you so much. So we played a team tonight um, that we've beaten before, right? And we beat them by like 10 plus goals. Tonight we lost to them, to them but listen to the, the journey, the story of how tonight's game panned out. So they came back and they came back with young, half of the team was different players than the players we played the last time. It was much younger players. And um, they came back, hey? They came back in such a way that they dominated the first half. Now, in my team, uh, we are all in our, um, okay, late 30s and uh, mid 40s, um, all our teammates. So the other team had about 18 year olds, 19 year olds. Um, yeah, so they came out and we were trailing by seven points in the first half. When we convened Ga Half Time, we said one thing, guys, we're not playing our game. Why are we not playing our game? You know, we are playing their game. We are being fast paced. And with, with our team, for us, slow, slow and easy does it. We then decided in the second half, by the way, it's 17 10. We are seven points down. Second half, we decided to play our own game. And what happened when we started playing our own game? We started catching up. We turned a few balls. We scored. We capitalized. We scored every single one of our opportunities. Whereas we were not in the first half. And guess what? Us playing our game started confusing theirs. And something just said to me, like, isn't that life? Like, the most successful people that I know or people that I've come across or even in my own life, the one, the, all the times in my life where I've been successful and by successful, I'm not saying I didn't fail, but all the times that I have been true to myself, I would succeed. Even if failure would happen, but I would still succeed because I was true to myself. The failure was more of a learning curve and not a failure per se. So we ended up losing by only two points. This is from being down a good 10 points. We ended up losing. The score was 22-2. Uh, yeah, 20. We got, we had 20 and they had 22. So we came back. If we had an extra two minutes in indoor, the game is very fast. Two minutes, you can score four goals. In two minutes, you can, in, you can like literally kill a team in two minutes. If we had an extra two minutes, we could have easily scored 
another four goals. And we would have won that game. So as much as we lost, we still won. Personally, for me, it was a win. And I just thought I want to share this with you guys. I'm sitting in the garage. I've arrived at home. I just wanted to share that with you that, you know, compete with yourself. Compete with yourself. And I promise you, even your failures will become lessons. They won't they won't even feel like failures because why? You tried, you pushed, you played your own game. You didn't play another person's game. Set your own goals, set your own targets. Don't worry about the outside noise. Just set your own targets and your own goals. Follow them, smash them and just keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, guys. And the fact that I'm just even wanting to talk to you guys at this time, 10 o'clock, 10.02 to be exact. Um, you guys are becoming a very, very important part of my life. I feel weird if I haven't spoken to you guys like in a whole day. Should it be two days? Should it be a whole week? Um, and yeah, I literally in May, I've hardly picked up the, picked up my camera because I've had to catch up on so much editing. But honestly, I just wanted to share that with you. Stick to your own game. Play your own game. Galerat. Good night. Mwah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Louisa Gehope. Makutiwa Makula. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, like I promised in the previous um, clip from the other day, let me just do a little... Um, athleisure adidas haul and i don't know maybe i'll do a video for a try on and insert it somewhere here on this side but for now i just want to um show you guys what i got at the new adidas outlet store and let's get into it guys so i went to do a few purchases of um Items, I think I'll end off with the sneakers. Yeah, let's leave the sneakers for later, guys. I have like been meaning to <coughs> do this um haul for quite a while, but anyway, these are they were a pair of three I've already worn the whites, these are like socks, a packet of three, if I recall the price, they were originally 200 and they were $2.99 and they go now for, I bought them for $180. We have this um, two-piece. Guys, I think, yeah, I think I might end up just doing a try-on haul that I'll put on the side. Um, yeah, so I'll do that for you guys. First try-on haul. Have I done a try-on haul? No, I haven't. Normally with my sheet and stuff, I just insert the picture somewhere here so this is a beautiful set guys i love i love it it has um very good quality it's the wide leg wide leg long pants you'll see them up here on the side of the screen what i love about this set is um it's not so hot but it is warm enough is because we're also in sort of like i think guys the weather is doing its own thing so i think we're in like our autumn or pre-winter-ish. I eat one minute it's hot, one minute it's cold, one minute it's doing the most. And this is a crop top here. Here's a crop top here. Looks like that. And it's got, it's it's a dark chocolate brown as you can see with the Adidas um, logo there in pink embroidered on the back of the pants here and on the front of this top. So this top from 499, I got it for. 200 rand as you guys can see there and then these pants from 549 i got them at focus at 220 and then i've got this um gym set as well guys i love the color check this out Oh, this is too bright. So it's a lime. It's sort of like a lime. Not a, not sort of like it's, it. It is. It's a lime green color, and it's got a 
back like this with a band I love the back like it's got a thick elastic band back like this up wise or crop top guys listen to this it was 699 and I got it for a hundred and can we do this 699 and I got it for 140 like guys a gym bra that is 700 rand and I got it for 140 just saying um, so the outlet store the outlet store just opened I think about a month ago in Eden Vale it's by next door to the Mac not no 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 the builders the builders warehouse in Eden Vale I will put up their address somewhere here guys these are so cute I can see for netball especially so it's a it's a sport it's a sport yeah so the front is a skirt the front is a skirt and in the back is shorts I don't know if you can see that I love the patterning um, and I've said this before on my channel that I I'm a beige black white gray navy that kind of like neutral tones um, or shades but I love exploring in color when it comes to my gym wear so yeah um, and it's got pockets here on the side pockets here on the side and it's got the Adidas logo here on the front and these shorts guys from 1099 I got them for 440 from 1099 I got them for 440 I don't know if you guys can see that can this focus let me do this there we go I think you saw it then I got this cute guys this this is my favorite. This is definitely by far my favorite. Guys, I don't know if it's better if I take off my glasses or have my glasses on. Let me try, let me try. Let me try without my glasses. I feel like it will look better. Oh, okay, my eyes, guys. This change of season is just doing the most. So this is a, um, a stunning sort of like mesh, mesh fabric top. Guys, I'm trying to give you a chance to get and obviously you'll see it in the in the try on right next to me somewhere. So it's a top. It's a two, sort of like two in one top. There it is, oh, guys. I love it. It's like mesh fabric, and it's a rich, um, rich messy. Is it rich messy? Um, yes, it's written there. There, it's a rich um, messy collab collaboration with editors I love this top guys guys don't say I don't plug you hey like don't say I don't plug you because if you're living in the East End honey you should be following me like anybody who's living in the East End what are you doing but why are you doing not following me already because I am the plug for the plugist of the East End <laughs> You ask this guys, you also are papa before little gap papa ask this me. So this top guys, it's long sleeve. It's gonna be great for the winter autumnish vibe. Um, I'd say more autumn, and then because it's not warm, warm, but like it's a cover up. I love this. I love the the um, the orange. I love the neon, the neon orange or the neon color there. This top, are you guys ready? This top was one thousand two hundred and ninety nine. That is the original. That is the price you'll get it in stores. And at the outlet store, I got it for five hundred and nineteen point sixty. So basically five hundred and twenty. That's literally like almost. Yeah, it's half, not even. It's like 60, if not 70% less. And guys, they, the, the specials, the sales are continuously running. It's an outlet store, so they always have sales every single time. I have got, guys, this for me, this for me is the, the, the only thing that I went there that caught my eye when I was walking past was these pair of pants, okay? And I ended up buying almost the whole shop, as you guys saw. 
for the structural beauty guys i know that the lighting is not the greatest so it has a double detail like this i love this so like you could, when you're wearing a name low like this so the first flap is low but then your top one can be high waist it's got a functional drawstring and the the sides are the sides have a clippable open you can literally open these the sides all the way up these trousers were 1500 as you can see there and i got them for guys it's not focusing there we go i got them for 600 rand so that's literally also again a 70 percent savings and then drum roll for my sneakers So these are the sneakers. I have worn, okay. I have worn them a few times. Here they are. Here they are. And they were on a 70 whopping 70% 70 sale. 70% sale from 3,800. As you can see there, there's the price. From 3,800, I got them for let me see oh, exactly so i minus 3799 minus 70 so i paid 1139 1139.70 for these sneakers that is a huge saving and guys they are so comfortable i've worn them a few times i'm sure you can see how to do it um they are so so comfortable i already have my orthopedic inners in and they are under the N, N for Nelly, M, D. Let me just do this a bit up, guys. N, M, D brand or range S1. I love that they've got this, I don't know if you can see this detailing here. This like glows when you're running, obviously at night or in the dark. And then this is a fabric. Can you see there? This is like a fabric see-through mesh sort of a thing very comfortable they have that sock sort of um texture feel so they really like hug your foot they custom they shape them they shaped according to your foot so once you wear them they like hug you like a pair of socks basically can you see how stretchy this part is so yeah i got those that's what i got guys oh i forgot to show you guys they also come with extra strap um laces in this color yeah guys uh, this thing yeah content content is the hill that i am willing to die on <laughs> guys content content i forgot guys i came back on here i'm not gonna try these on guys guys filming try on hauls are a whole job description it's like a whole job okay Fil filming try on holes is like no get, listen here the girlies on youtube that are fil filming try on holes honestly it's a lot do you know how many takes i had to do just to film those little um clips that i, I just want to put up here for my um at leisure try on haul whatever but anyway so th this i'm not putting on so this is also like a nice set the top the crop top i bought it separately on its own this crop top i think was like around from 350 i got it for 150 yeah something like that it's really nice also very nice cottony fabric as you guys can see and it's got um the adverse detailing there it's it's nude guys it's nude it's beige it's doing the things that i love colors to be doing and i then pair it with these nice tights guys they are so pretty i'll show you one day when i do a proper get ready with me for gym i'll rock this outfit then you can see it there but i'm not trying it on again hey i really am not <laughs> so this is um how it looks that's the detailing there and then there we go okay guys what okay fine let me try it on i'll try it on for you guys i just feel like 
doing this does not do it any justice let me try it on for you guys and you'll see it on the clip here what i love about these pants they fit so nicely here it is guys they were 1800 these tights and i got them for 1079 40 yeah pants yeah yeah pants item yeah these are the ones so honestly i love 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 they are a tight fit and the size is in a size medium